friends, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about investigating rates of change. Here's a neat thing. Rates of change is just the exact same thing as slope. So we're going to talk about how to find slope from a table here. We've got a table here. So our slope formula, slope formula, and remember to grab your notebook and write these notes down in your notebook. Uh, our slope formula is going to be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. For me, I'm a visual learner. I think it's a little bit easier to see these stacked on top. Uh, so you, what you can do is pick any two points on this line. We can pick 2, 4, 3, 1, 4, negative 2, or 5, negative 5. I'm going to grab 3, 1, and I will put those here so that you can see it right next to the, the formula, and then 5, negative 5. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is this is my x1, y1. This is my x2, y2. You'll notice, like I said, I'm a visual learner, so I stacked my points here. I find that to be uh, more helpful than just seeing them side by side. Because what we do is y2 minus y1. That's this minus this over this minus this. When it's stacked for whatever reason, that seems to make it a little bit easier for me to see. So again, that's going to be negative 5 minus 1 over 5 minus 3. And remember, add the opposites. We're going to add the opposite here and give us negative 6. Okay. Then on the bottom, when we add the opposite, we end up with positive 2. Negative 6 divided by 2 is going to be negative 3. So my slope, aka my rate of change, is going to be uh, so slope slash rate of change is going to be negative three for this guy. That means anywhere in there, it is, it, it's gonna change by negative three. Hope this helps. Look forward to seeing you next time.